stemming attrition, stemming the loss of talent, talented women from the academic pipeline. That's what we're talking about today at the Global New Scholars Roundtable. We're here with AWIS, the Association of Women in Science. They recently received a grant from the Elsevier Foundation to convene 12 of the most significant projects in the Elsevier Foundation program. They're coming together to distill best practice in dual career initiatives, work-life family issues, and we hope to distill their findings. People in this room have got real life experience supported in a lot of cases by the Elsevier Foundation in addressing this fundamental issue of diversity and women's roles in science, uh, work-family balance, and a whole range of issues that go to the retention and attraction of talent in the scientific workforce. The opportunity to bring the top thinkers together like this is a tremendous chance to be able to talk about best practices, what works, what doesn't work, and actually really forge what I think is going to be a very long-term concrete collaboration uh, among these kinds of top thinkers for the long term. I am Janet Crosser. I'm the executive director and CEO of the Association for Women in Science. I've been in that position for six years, and we've made some tremendous strides uh, for women in academic science. Um, I've seen them just the past five years, but there's a long way to go. I think that one of the issues that we see is this sense of women belonging to a community, and that's what this global convening is about. It's an opportunity for Elsevier Foundation new scholars to come together and convene as a group to get to know one another, to talk about issues that are common, to talk about successes, but also to talk about pushing that envelope. What's the next step? What are we looking at in the whole of society for women in science, technology, engineering, and math. The burning question in convening the experts of our outstanding grantees that are the new scholar awardees is, is taking the learnings from their projects and figuring out strategically what do we need to do as the next steps to push uh, our findings to the next level to actually make a difference uh, for women in science around the world. This has been such an exciting morning. We've been learning about a lot of different efforts at different institutions and in different countries. And the thing that I found most exciting um, this morning was that we identified where the next generation of challenges are going to be. And it's in that intermediate space between institutional policies and individual empowerment. Because it's in that space in between where department culture lies, where faculty to faculty interactions lie, where all the student faculty um, uh, training occurs, and that's the space that is so difficult for women to maneuver and so difficult to change. This is probably an interesting question, right? Why do we care about diversity? Why does it matter? And what's the benefit? What's the benefit to science? What's the benefit to the STEM workforce if it's diverse? And you know, the, the view is that you need diverse eyes to solve problems. And we know that. We know when you ask, in fact, anyone who's tried to use an electronic piece of, uh, of household equipment knows that it often doesn't work. Right? because the person who's designing it has never used it for the task that it's going to be used for. So when you diversify the set of eyes that you have looking at a problem, you're more likely to get that innovative spark where someone says, I know what we need, I know how to solve this problem. And so we can't afford to squander talent regardless of where it comes from. So we need men, we need women, we need multicultural influences. And if we don't do this, we suffer for it because we're going to miss the opportunities to solve problems, to move forward, to make this a better world. And so it's not just an equity or fairness issue that women should participate in a science because it's fair. Women should participate in a science because it's essential. Because without them, we're missing the opportunity to solve some of the most serious problems facing the global community at this time.